The first snow survey of the year happened today at Phillips Station just west of Lake Tahoe. In that area, the Department of Water Resources found the snowpack is 93% of what it usually is for this time of year. But automated snow measures are measurements are showing another section of the Sierra are only 55% of normal. And officials say about a third of the state is in extreme drought. Snow surveys are conducted monthly, so this could all change the next time we look at it, especially with rain and snow in the forecast next week and tracking all of that for mm -hmm. us right now is Monica. <laughs> we really get to those bigger storms here right next week. So these first couple of rounds not too impressive. At least it kind of keeps things coming in from the Pacific. Tomorrow morning some light showers, little accumulation. We'll see pretty much the same situation late Friday into early Saturday, Sunday and next week. That's when we really start to see much higher totals with rain, snow and bigger impacts with our travel. Tomorrow we'll basically have a partly cloudy day after some overnight showers. Hours high stay in the 50s, 30s up top for the Sierra Chile last day of 2020. Can you believe it's finally here, right? All right, temperatures today starting off in the 30s, but we were at 28 for Fairfield, 30s for the foothills and teens up top for the Sierra. After that, though, we saw some sunshine and highs warm nicely above average actually for today. Highs upper 50s to right around the low 60s, 50s for the foothills and 40s up top for the Sierra. Great looking weather force photos as we're starting to round out this year. Neil Starr submitting this one from Pioneer. This is the look out in Vacaville. I love that high uh, view from Stephen looking down and then the Sutter Buttes always a pretty shot out there from Bill. Thanks so much to our ABC 10 weather force. Upload those photos on the ABC 10 app and I'll tell you you are going to be able to use that app quite a bit next week. Tonight in the Gilmore backyard you see the opportunity of showers really presenting right around 9 o'clock lasting through early tomorrow with our sunrise at 723. Shouldn't be done with the showers by then. As far as our total accumulation, about a tenth of an inch for the valley, closer to about two to four inches of snow for this year. We need a whole lot more to catch up, but we are going to get a lot of chances for that. By tomorrow, we're done with the showers, and then we look for the next chance coming in late on Friday. As we start off the new year, it'll be a late arriving system that'll take us through the first part of Saturday with on and off showers through the day, but a lot of activity out in the Pacific. Where do you see this 10 day forecast? Highs tomorrow in the 30s for the Sierra, 50s down the hill, although we start off with a a little bit of a chill in the air for the morning after the clearing skies. Look at this five day forecast each day with the chance of rain and snow coming into the Sierra. We'll see some big time total Sunday into Monday and again Tuesday into Wednesday. We're talking feet of snow with these next systems, not the first ones to come come through them. 50s and 60s along the coast again for tomorrow. A beautiful day to wrap up 2020. We'll see highs in the 50s after morning lows right about 40 or so because we'll have the cloud cover overnight that tends to keep us just a little bit warmer. Not like this morning. It was just really chilly out there with patchy frost. But as you can see with this 10 day forecast, we have a whole lot of showers coming our way right now. Sunday into Monday looks like a slightly bigger storm, as does Tuesday into Wednesday. And we're going to keep those showers going deep into next week.